So today I decided to bring a weapon. <laughs> a real weapon. This is the weapon right now. Everybody hold up your weapon. Hold up your weapon. This is the weapon right now. This is what they scared of the most. This is why my brother is in the position he is now, because he found a new weapon. And he used that weapon effectively. See, this is a war we in. And all they doing is trying to force you and I to be scared to stand up for our rights. That's right. That's what this is all about. That's right. Retaliation. White, black, young, old. Doesn't matter anymore. Every time you turn on the news, somebody's being harassed. Right. Well, hold up. I believe in self-defense, so this is the weapon right here. That's right. If you see something, film something. Something, that's right. That's right. Say it right. If, you if you see, see something, something, film something. Again. If you see something, film something. <laughs> if you see something, film something. We have to learn to utilize the tools at our hand to stop making these things seem like they're so strong. They run around Harlem and other communities criminalizing our children. That's right. Our children who don't have after school activities. Hey, our talk children about it. who can't stand in front of their buildings. Talk about it. Our children who get told move from that corner to that corner, only to get told at that corner, you should have been at that corner, now you arrested. Yeah. Talk about it. The reason we're here and the reason we chose the 32nd precinct is because all of the terrorists that terrorize this neighborhood live here. Hey! Talk about it. Talk about it. Hey! Hey! Don't get fooled because you go into Don't a couple of meetings. Him. Oh, no, I'm going there. Don't get fooled because you go into a couple of meetings with some handshakes and how you doing. But well, let me tell you something. I grew up on a farm. And when we had to go kill animals, you can't run in a chicken coop screaming because the chicken's going to run away. <laughs> That's right. They're going to run away. So you got to run in a chicken coop. You got to be quiet. You got to be easy. You got to be calm so the chickens will calm down and come closer so you can kill them easy. That's what they do to you. They come in the community and they shake their hand. They say we're here to help. And we fall for it. They say, tell us which one of your children are endangered or in the process of being endangered and we'll help them. So what you do, you give them the child's name. And then the child's name goes on a database. Hey! And now the child is a game bank. Hey! That's right. Or affiliated. Hey! And now this child gets harassed day in, hey! day out, day in, day out. See, this is how we being played. We got to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody said to me, well, there's a few good ones. Okay, fine. So the few good ones know what they got to do. Expose right. the bad ones. That's right. That's their job. When they step up and expose the bad ones, we'll support the few good ones. Right. But until then, we're not going to be concerned with that. Silent, silence is consent. We're not going to be concerned with what's going on in the community. Just because it's a black face don't mean it ain't the same place. That's right. Just because it's a black face don't mean it ain't the same place. See, that's what they do to us. They throw somebody in that look like us, so we'll calm down. And if we act up, they'll say, what you complaining about? They black. Right. What you beefing for? The president black. Right. What you beefing for? We got black police officers. Hey. Well, we got black police officers carrying out a white supremacist policy. That's hey. right. Oh, that's right. We got brown police officers carrying out a white supremacist policy. That's right. We got white police officers carrying out a white supremacist policy. That's right. And they carry it out because the people above them don't get fooled. These guys don't make no decisions. That's the right. The people Come above the them power. tell them, if you want your job, you better get me some college. Hey. And they tell the one under them, if you yeah. want your job. So we said yeah. we ain't stopping here. Yeah, that's right. We're here to let notice be known that this is supposed to be a public place. Mm -hmm. This Thank is supposed to be where come you can come in. and hang out and stand around and be safe. Hey, right. This ain't supposed to be a military site. Hey. This is right. not supposed to be a military institution. Right. Any other community, people sit outside and play dominoes. Right. In front of they gotta use the bathroom. They run up in you run up in here, you can't even use the bathroom. And you might don't come and out. And every time we go, man, we ain't come. That's right. Don't come out. They ain't supposed right. to come out. <laughs> serve you. We ain't supposed to have kids telling us that they're getting cavity searches from police coming out of this. That's prison. right. Hey. That's so right. I walk the streets. So hey. I know what's going on. That's right. Hey. My little homies come to me and tell me they just got strip search and cavity search. And I said, well, what? Where? Where? You know them for the three two. Uh huh. See, because that's what goes on out here. Y'all don't know about that. Yeah, a lot they don't know. Or then when my other hey. people tell me, well, look, Shaka, I, I've been selling drugs all my life. I'm tired of hustling. I want to do something legal. 
So I, I want to be a vendor. So I take them and I help them get their vendor's license and all that. And I take them and help them get their supplies. And then a week later, they calling me, telling me I got arrested for selling goods and I wasn't breaking the law. They took all my goods. Now I got no money hey. and no goods hey. and a fine. Yeah. So how do you tell a community not to engage in criminal activity when, when you doing it? When you doing it? Hey. That's right. When you doing that? it? How do you tell a child not to get involved with drug dealing when every access he has when the biggest gets one. cut off? How, hey. you, how do you tell children not to run guns when gun runners hey. run? Hey. Hey. Right. hey! Hey! Right. Talk about it! I said it! Talk about Eight it! Eight of them! That's right! Eight of them got captured in December. For That's running right. guns, you don't hear nothing else about that case. Right. Lock them up and That's jump right. out to the gun. But you don't look up on the corner shoot somebody, it's front news. That's right. You hear about that case. Yeah. That's and right. And we satisfied that I know plenty of them. Every once in a while, they throw one or two of them out there and arrest them. So we're supposed to be like, okay, it's good because he got indicted. It ain't good till they all get indicted. That's right. It ain't good till they all get indicted. That's right. Anytime they take people who are fighting for their rights, and then call them professional agitators. Hey! How do you call somebody standing up for their rights a professional agitator? Or a problem. So or they, a problem. On. So if they're professional agitators, then maybe we need to call them professional aggravators. That's right. Terrorists. Professional captains. Right. Professional criminals. That's right. I don't respect the bands that don't respect us. That's, That's right. right. I don't respect the person that don't respect me. That's, That's right. right. I sure don't respect the law that don't respect That's us. That's right. right. Hey! Oh, you shouldn't even. Talk about right. it. They want to talk about terrorism? Take a look. Preach. They're talk the biggest it. one. That's the house of terrorism. Don't send me to Iraq, Iran. I don't want to talk about over there. Let's talk about right here. That's right. But right. this is state-sponsored terrorism. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yes. Taxpayer terrorists. Hey! Right. And anytime you try to speak up, they want to come out here at night. That's hey! how they do it. It ain't Talk about now. it. It's going to happen after dark. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Hey! hey. Comes That's out here right. After dark when a Living officer with no uniform. Living testimony. An officer with no uniform. Unidentified. Probably not even from this area. Most likely Caucasian is going to mm -hmm. jump out and wreak havoc on the community, mm -hmm. and they do that so the community be scared to do what we're doing right now. Hey! Well, we're here to say that we ain't having it no more. So remember my face and everybody who's brave enough to stand up. We are part of an organization called the People Survival Program. And every Tuesday night, we teach you your rights. We teach you your rights because you got to have weapons against them. That's See, right. I carry my weapon. Y'all got your weapon? This is my weapon right here. Mm -hmm. This is my rights right here in my pocket. I stay strapped. <laughs> I never leave home without it. That's right. I'm always strapped. And you should be strapped too. Because this is what they violate. And ain't no way in the world we're going to let a man like Jazz hate him. See, I'm from Harlem. When I was a little dude, I respected Jazz for another reason. Then when I got older, I respected him because he flipped his life. See, I didn't see Malcolm, but I met Jazz. That's right. I didn't know Malcolm, how he did from Detroit Red to Malcolm. But I know Jazz. And I know nobody was thinking about stopping Fritz until Jazz came along. Nobody was filming it until Jazz came along. And I'd be damned if two punk, coward-ass police are going to say, we know you. Well, hell, we know you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, we know you. That's right. We know you. We, we know you. We know you. We know you. We know you. Now, we know that's right. you. Now, you got to let them know constantly, this ain't the last one. We'll come back and we'll keep coming back. And pick a precinct in your neighborhood because there ain't a clean one on the planet. So it don't matter which one you pick, they all dirty. And you demand from these community officers, you demand from the heads of the precinct, don't just come in our community and water us down with good words. Do some real work with the community. Don't come to a community meeting and give me a bunch of lip and we don't see you no more. Or you come in, you soft handing me in this hand and barricade my neighborhood with that hand. Yeah, you soft shooing me with this hand and putting lights on my neighborhood with that hand. No, soft shoot me on this hand and be real on this hand so we can really work together. We don't like crime no more than anybody else. We don't like law breaking nobody no more than anybody else. But we'd be damned if we're going to allow crime to be the excuse for these terrorists to run rampant in our community. That's right. See, they're, they're not going to play that ticket on us. That's what they're playing on us as a people. they telling you what we're doing is because Johnny got shot. Well, Johnny wouldn't got shot if he could have been in some way outside or outside. That's right. Johnny wouldn't have been shot if you didn't bring the gun here. That's right. Hey. Hey. 
Pat wouldn't have been shot if you didn't pressure him every day and cause him to be a walking time bomb. That's the problem. Hell, don't pick a few of them to be in your PAL. If you're going to have a PAL pal, be a pal to all of them. <laughs> don't be a pal to the ones who want to stitch. Don't be a pal to the ones who agree with you. Be a pal with everybody. Be a pal with all of us. We don't even know when the community meeting is. It's a secret. They have secret community meetings. Like this is a damn Illuminati. That's right. We don't want no secret community meeting because the community ain't no secret. Harlem is the village, and anybody that comes in this village, including them, got to respect the village. That's right. They got to respect the village. Right. And the village got to unite store to store, home to home, to let them know, raise your hand if you pay taxes. That's right. All right, well, you the boss, they work for you. That's right. See how simple that is? They work for you. Civil servants serve the civilians. You the civilians, they the civil servants. Just like they can send a Marine across the world, lie to him and say you fighting for America. Well, they right here, and they supposed to be risking their life for you. They supposed to be risking their life, not taking lives That's that right. belong to you. They supposed to be risking their life for you. And we're going to make sure Jazz ain't going to jail. That's right. That's no not way. happening. That's right. He's not going down. And not only is he not going down, I showed you on my weapon earlier. Go home and get a weapon. Every second Thursday of the month, we will be teaching at City College at the Asada Chakor Center a guerrilla media class where we will teach you how to use your cameras how to edit your film, how to do all the things. And where did we get it from? Allthings.com. That's, right. That's, That's the right. man that started that program. Now we taking the program and we gonna teach people how to use these tools. Don't be scared to pull out your camera. Don't be scared to film what they do. You see something, you film, film something. something. That's you right. see, see something, something, you film, film something. something. All power to the people. All power to the people. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.